Uh, good day to you, Fias. Um, I'm glad to be back and I wish you a happy new year in Jesus' name. Uh, I feel we should pray together this new year, 2012. By the grace of God, it's going to be a year that you will praise God and you will have testimony in Jesus' name. Uh, but there is one prayer we're going to pray today, which is very, very important. And that is in the book of Esther, chapter 3. Uh, and that is to cancel whatever the devil might have planned for you and your household. Whatever he has planned for your finances, whatever he has planned. You know, because in life, there is nothing that do happen suddenly. Uh, when things happen, we say, oh, it just happened suddenly. But brethren and friends, I want you to know that this might have been things that have been planned for so long. Um, let me explain this to you from the perspective of the Word of God. And we go to the book of Esther, chapter 3. I read to you verse 12 and 13. Uh, I said, Then were the king's scribe called on the thirteenth day of the first month, and there was written according to all that Haman had commanded unto the king's lieutenant, and to the governors that were over every province, and to the rulers of every people of every province, according to the writing thereof, and to every people after their language, in the name of King Asaros, was it written, and sealed with the king's ring. Verse 13. And the letter was sent by post into all the king's prophecies to destroy, to kill, and to cause to perish all Jews, both young and old, little children and women, in one day, even upon the thirteenth day of the twelfth month, which is the month Ada and to take the spoil of them for a prey. Our friends, when you look at this place, Haman hated the Jews with passion. And um, he, he went to the king, reported them, and um, he was able to persuade the king, he persuaded the king that these people were useless in your kingdom. And um, he requested that these people be destroyed and even offered to pay something into the king's cover, into the king's treasury for the destruction of the Jews. And the king was naive enough, he gave his consent to that plan. And that was in the first month. And in the first month, the thirteenth day, the letter was written. And the evil plan to destroy the Jews was to be carried out in the twelfth month. When you look at that verse 13, in that twelfth month, in, in a single day, they were to destroy all the Jews, the women, the children, the men, everybody. Now, look at it. The plan was there in January. The execution was to be carried out in December. And friend, this is the way it happened. The devil has his own calendar, as God has his own calendar, his own program, marked out. You know, I know maybe you want to travel this year. Um, you will have planned it oh, on so and so day. This is what I'm going to do in February. This is what I'm going to do in January. For instance, I have a program in May. I know the date. I know the time. I know the country I'm going to. And everything is set. This is the way life runs. And this is what the devil has planned for them. He planned it in January. It was to be carried out in December. They may not be sick from January to December. But yet they will be destroyed in a single day. And friend, this is what I want you to pray. I don't know what the enemy might have planned for you, but I want you to know that you have your own plan. God has a plan for you, and the devil has a plan for you. You can only align yourself with the program and the purpose of God and pray to frustrate the plans of the devil. But you see, God turned this program upside down for the enemy. They were to be destroyed. But God did something which I want you to pray about in that Esther chapter 9 and verse 22. The Bible says, As the day wherein the Jews rested from their enemies, and the month which was turned unto them from sorrow to joy, and from mourning into a good day, that they should make them days of feasting and joy, and of sending portions one to another, and give to the poor. You see, the day the enemy had planned, as a day to destroy them, as a day to 
to cause them sorrow. God turned it to become a day of joy. So instead of a day of weeping, God turned it to be a day of joy. And today I want you to pray. Every day this year that the enemy has planned for you as a day of sorrow, that God will turn it to become a day of joy. Every day the enemy have chosen for you as a day of weeping, that God will turn it to become a day of laughter. I want you to bow down your head as you pray today in faith, believing God. And you see, if you want God to fight your battle, make sure this year you align yourself with the program and the purpose of God. Make sure you, you stay connected with the Lord Jesus Christ who loves you and gave himself for you. Now, bow down your head, we are going to pray because God is able to destabilize the program of the enemy. And I want you to pray with passion today and say, Father, every day the enemy have chosen for me at the day of sorrow this year, let it be turned to a day of joy. Every day the enemy have chosen for me as a day of accident, let it be a day O oh God of testimony, Lord, every evil plan, Lord, I nullify it in the mighty name of Jesus. Now begin to pray. Call the name of Jesus and pray with passion. Lord, today, whatever the devil might have planned for me, for my family this year, let it be destroyed. Probably the devil planned that this year you will lose your job. I want you to pray that, Lord, this evil plan shall not come to pass. As you overturn the plan of Ammon for Israel, Lord, overturn the program of darkness concerning my life. I want you to pray with passion. I want you to pray as a father. Whatever the devil might have planned this year, maybe he planned sudden death in your family. I want you to cancel it with the blood of Jesus. The Bible says, who is he that speaketh and he cometh to pass when the Lord has not spoken? I want you to pray as a father. Every plan of the enemy this year, I destroy it, I nullify it in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to pray, you know, like God did for the people of Israel. Say, Lord, every day the enemy have chosen, every month, every day, every week, that the enemy have chosen at a day of sorrow. Lord, turn it to become a day of joy. You remember the widow of Nain, the day the enemy have chosen as a day of sorrow for her. He met the Lord Jesus Christ, and the Lord Jesus Christ turned that day to become a day of joy for her by raising up her son back to life. You remember that woman with the issue of blood. The day the Lord met her, her sorrow was turned to joy. And the same God, the same Lord Jesus Christ, I'm presenting to you today. I want you to pray with passion. Lord, every day the enemy have chosen this year as a day of sorrow, turn it to become a day of joy. Every day the enemy have chosen as a day of mourning. Lord, turn it to become a day of dancing for me. I want you to pray. You know, I want you to pray for your work. Pray for your family. Pray for your children. Pray for your spouse. And say, Father, today, whatever the enemy might have planned, Lord, I nullify it in the mighty name of Jesus. Every plan of the devil for me and my family, Lord, I cancel it with the blood of Jesus. You know, they were to be destroyed the same day, the same day. You can see the wickedness of the devil. I want you to pray with passion. The Lord that did it for the Israelite during the time of Esther is the same God today. As you pray today, the Lord will step out ahead of you to go ahead of you, to destabilize this evil plan of the devil. I want you to pray with passion. Lord, today I redeem every week. Lord, I redeem every month. I redeem every moment of this year by the blood of Jesus. Lord, that no sudden destruction will come to my family, that no evil will touch me and everything that the Lord has given to me. I want you to pray. This is the beginning of the year. You can commit it into the hand of the Lord. You can, you can destabilize from now. You know, you can cancel whatever the devil might have written. You know, the Bible said Jesus, by his blood, he has nullified every single thing, every evil that is written against us. And I want you to say, whatever the devil has written concerning me and my home, by the blood of Jesus, I cancel it in Jesus' name. I want you to pray that the Lord of heaven will go before you this year. That the Lord of heaven will shield you and your household from every evil. That the Lord of heaven will shield you from every attack. That the Lord of heaven will shield you, protect you, and everything that belongs to you. Remember, 
The plan was written in January. It was to be carried out in December. But God of heaven stepped in. And the same God, he will see you through this year. I want you to commit your life to the Lord. I want you to commit your, your heart, your everything to the Lord. And say, Father, I'm linking up with you today. I'm connecting to you, Lord. Help me. See me through this year. And it shall be well with you. And friend, I want you to just speak something to the Lord now. And say, Lord Jesus, the grace to walk with you this year faithfully. Lord, give unto me. As you serve the Lord, as you stay connected with the source of the living water, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, He will protect you, He will guide you, and no evil shall come upon you in Jesus' mighty name. Bow down your head and let us pray. Bow down your head as we pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I pray for my year today, every plan of darkness, Lord, I destroy in the mighty name of Jesus. Every day the enemy have chosen as a day of sorrow for you. I turn it to become a day of joy in the mighty name of Jesus. Every day the enemy have chosen as a day of money. I turn them to become a day of dancing in the name of Jesus. Every day the enemy have chosen for you as a day of weeping. I command them turn to become a day of laughter in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord of heaven shall go before you and it shall be well with you this year in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Friend, I want to invite you. Per adventure, you are around Birmingham. I want you to fellowship with us. Kingdom Life Apostolic Chapel. My name is Reverend Paul Akepelu. You will see our details on the screen now. And um, anytime you are around, just give us a call. Just, just pop into fellowship with us. We are at uh, 29B Maryville Road, Stanley, Birmingham. Our postcode is B302DA. God bless you. And my phone number, you will see it on the screen. You can call me and the Lord of heaven bless you. Have a wonderful year. In Jesus' name. Amen.